Hey guys, Todd from Lowbrow Customs here. We're in my home garage. We're gonna make some spark plug wires here today. Uh, we've changed up our kits a little bit. And since the last time we did a video like this, we have also increased our spark plug cloth covered wire line to now include suppressor core where we used to just have uh, copper core. Let's talk about that for a minute. We have this cloth covered wire. We have kits and we have wire by the foot available. These happen to be some of the kits that we're selling. Uh, we've changed up the kits now where we've got different ends in them. We have 90 and straight boots. We'll show you that in a sec here when we open up the kits. But the most importantly is we have seven millimeter and we have eight millimeter. Now, the big difference between the two is the seven millimeter that we've had for a long time is going to be stranded copper core. The eight millimeter that we've been stocking for a little while now, but we didn't have a video for this before, is suppressor core. If you have an old motorcycle and it's got points in it, or it has a magneto, then you should be using seven millimeter stranded copper core wire on that motorcycle. If you have a modern motorcycle that has fuel injection, or the majority of the Harley electronic ignitions are calling for suppressor core wire. There are some exceptions to the rule. Uh, if you're buying an electronic ignition for an older Harley, take a look at your instruction sheet before you order your plug wires, and it usually will say in there. Well, I've got some instruction sheets around here for some electronic ignitions for British motorcycles, which are contrary. They will use the seven millimeter stranded copper core as specified in the instructions. So always refer to the instructions for whatever ignition system you may be installing on your motorcycle if it is not a stock system. Once again, points and magnetos and some electronic seven millimeter stranded copper core. All other motorcycles will be suppressor core. Let's uh, go ahead and take some of this wire out of the package and we'll strip some off and you can see the difference for yourself. When you are stripping the wire, the housing off of the inside, you want to be careful that you don't cut through. This is the eight millimeter. We'll show you what the center of this looks like as compared to the other one. There's that. And here is the seven millimeter. And if you do end up buying this by the foot, we have a bunch of different colors available. We've got yellow. We've got oak with little tracers, yellow with black and red. We got green. We got red. We got black. We got all kinds of different colors. It's on the website, you check it out. But at any rate, back to this one. Is this the one we were working with? Oh yeah, okay. Here we go, so this is just a, common everyday wire stripper and I'm basically using the largest portion and it's kind of sharp there but when I'm cutting into this wire I'm just kind of being careful not to cut through the center part and when you're working with the the stranded copper if you cut into it you can always tell because there'll only be a couple left there and and so it's always a good idea as you're making your plug wires we'll show you I personally would put the spark plug end on first with the 90s because if you screw up and you have to cut it shorter and then go to the coil and cut the other end because those are much easier to put together than the 90s and the straights but at any rate here is the difference we're going to get a close-up of this seven millimeter see look at that see it see all that copper look at her stranded copper suppressor is just a piece of carbon that conducts the electricity i believe it's carbon uh if it's not, you can look that up on the Google. Now, once again, kits available, 90 degree boots for the spark plugs or straight. Let's go ahead and open them up and we'll show you what's in the, what comes in the kit. You're gonna get, this happens to be the eight millimeter with the 90 degree. You're gonna get three feet of wire. That ought to be enough to do your machine, okay? You're gonna get two 90 degree boots. These will go on the spark plugs. And you're going to get two of these boots that are going to go on your coil. And you're going to get 
two of these 90 metal ends that are going to get connected to this inside of there for your spark plug and you're going to get two of these metal ends that will plug into your coil. Uh, straight kit, same contents, just the two boots that go to the spark plugs will be straight versus 90. Along with, so you've got straight boots for your plugs versus the 90 and the ends that will go on to your spark plugs will be these versions here versus this 90. And both of these have a very nice locking system where when it goes over the plug, you can feel it connect where it's not going to fall off your spark plug going down the road and you're going to, wow, well, what the hell? Why is my bike running on one cylinder all of a sudden? Because I made my own spark plug wires and I, my plug fell off. Ha! Nope, that ain't going to happen. Okay, we'll go ahead and use this eight millimeter and show you how to get the ends onto these 90s because it can be tricky. So let's get this stuff out of the way here. We'll use this small sample piece so we don't destroy that perfectly good piece there. And we will put ends on both ends, but we'll show you how to do the 90 first. So in order to get this through here and put this end on it, you have to push this wire past the 90 and come out the other end like so in order to put this on. And then once we've crimped this on, we're gonna pull it back into it so it ends up there with this inside it. Once again, not the easiest job in the world, but it is possible, it can be done. We will do it right now. Uh, a little bit of lubrication won't hurt anything. I don't have any WD around here because I don't, just don't have any. So we're just gonna use just, oh, I was trying for a tiny little bit of oil, but we got a bunch on there. And you know what, it really doesn't matter. We just need something to lubricate it. And you're going to start your wire into the boot eight millimeters going to be a little bit larger and then you're going to see that it is the wires down at the bottom there right now you can see it in the bottom of this hole let's uh see if this works we're going to grab it with these And there she comes, look at her, look at her. Look at her, ah! See, all those, all that money I spent for motorcycle school paid off. Okay, now that you've got that, and once again, remember I said earlier to keep your wire a little long, because we're gonna trim that off where we were yanking on it. Okay, then the next thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna strip some housing off, some of the outside, being careful not to cut into the center there's your center see it and what we're going to do is we're going to fold that over to the portion of this where it's closed so we're going to fold it over and put this end over top of that where we folded the the center like so okay I've got this end orientated, so when I pull this back through, it's going to end up in the right place because I don't want to have to turn this wire inside here, even though it will turn. Uh, once again, the eight millimeters a little tighter in the 90s than the seven. So just to review, we fold it over the part we stripped. We put the folded over part underneath where we're going to crimp this. Okay, there is an official crimping tool for this. I don't have one. We're just going to use this wire crimping tool. And what we're going to do is we're going to fold that over and then we're going to fold it again and see how we've started it. And then we're going to use the actual crimping part of the tool to kind of bend it onto the wire so that we're kind of forming it kind of like this. And then we'll see how well we did when we go to pull it through because if we screwed up it's going to pop off it's going to come off so and I, once again i'm trying to show how to do this with a common tool that you have in your garage because not everyone has a special tool that folds it over okay so there she is she's crimped on there let's give it one more whammy
Okay, so once you've got your end crimped on, you're gonna go ahead and carefully work it. And as you start getting, see how I'm twisting the wire and it's turning the end? So when you get it, when you get to the bottom, when you're almost to the end, you wanna make sure that it's straight because it'll be difficult to fix it if it's not once it gets into that 90. Once it gets down in there, you can help this end. And if you did a good crimp, there she goes, and there it is. And we had a good crimp. Now our 90's down in there at the bottom of the hole, and that's what that looks like. And uh, there goes the spark plug, handy. Hear that little clicking sound? Nice, solid connection. And on the inside of here is little round circles that kind of match up to this top of the spark plug. So when you put that baby on there, she's not coming off. Okay, that's the eight millimeter, 90 degree. We'll go ahead and uh, put our other end on for the coil. Same program. Uh, this one's already stripped from when I was showing you what the cores were, so we, I don't really see any reason to restrip it. Uh, once again, just a little bit of lubrication. Doesn't hurt anything. You're gonna slide that boot over that, like so, and push it down a ways to start. And then you're gonna grab one of these other connectors. These are what's on the end for your typical coils. And same program, we're gonna fold our wire over. We're gonna get our end on top of that folded over. And then we're gonna fold the wire over. If you have the special wrench for, or pliers for making these crimps, that's great. If you're gonna make a lot of spark plug wires, if you have a shop and you're gonna use these on a regular basis, it probably would behoove you to purchase. And there's that. Now you can leave this slid over until you plug this in. We'll grab a coil real quick and show you that. Here's a common coil that would be found on like a British bike. I don't work on very many Harleys in this garage. and. That's gonna plug in like so. You can feel it when it's plugged in. You can see how it's got that little spot right there where it, and it, there's metal inside the end of your coil. So you're gonna to wanna to plug that in like so, making sure that it's bottomed in the coil and then you're just gonna slide your rubber chingo over there and bada bang, you're ready. You're gonna hook that baby up with some electricity and you're gonna put your spark plug in your engine and you're just gonna go, Boom, and make some fire and go down the road. Okay, wait, let's get back to making plug wire, sorry. Okay. Let's go ahead and do a seven millimeter and a straight spark plug boot. All right, one other thing I did forget to mention on the other one, but we'll do it now. If, if for some reason the end of your wire looks a little wonky, like that one's not straight, just trim a little bit off and make it straight, like a so. Okay. You gotta be extra careful stripping the, the stranded copper core with your tool. See how I'm just kind of working it? I'm just breaking through. I'm using the sharp part of the tool to break through that this, uh, and that's probably it, and there we go. And I didn't, oh, I did, I did pull some off. Let's go again, let's try again. See, that's why you wanna keep it a little long. I did cut some off, so we'll go again. The whole object of this is to strip the housing off without damaging any of the center, and I did. You have to be super careful. I mean, if you catch like one, it's not gonna make a huge difference, but if you've got a whole big bunch of them. Ah, that's better, okay. And basically you can just twist it up. You know how you're twisting a wire before you put an end on it? 
That's not a bad idea on this either. So you've stripped some off, you've twisted it up, you're gonna bend it over against the side of the housing. And for the straight ones, we're gonna be using this one. Oh, hell's bells, we forgot to shove it through the hole. Ding, da, ding, ding, ding. Let's try it with it stripped and see what happens. It might mess it up and it might not. If it doesn't, we'll be fine. If it does, oh well, we'll start over. Oh, there we go, look at that. Oh, look at that, no problem whatsoever. Hey, I'm a human. Okay. Insert spark plug boot over wire first, then strip end off. Okay, there we go. So you stripped it, folded it over, put the closed end of the connector with the wire facing that way. And then by hook or by crook, we're gonna bend this over like so. Okay, so I've got it pretty good there, but I'm gonna give it an extra little tweak. And I'm giving her a pull. Seems pretty secure. And then you're just gonna pull your boot over your end. Till it hits that portion there. You can feel it, that it's there. And this is what this one will look like with the spark plug on there. Bada bing. These are probably good for like an inline four cylinder or something of that nature. You would have to buy two kits if you have four cylinders, but hey, that's okay. Okay. Actually, after you plug it in, you can kind of work the boot down a little more. Oh, there we go. Now it's perfect. Look at that. Just right. Bada bing. Uh, I don't think we need to show you the other end again. It's the same, same end in this kit, same, this end for the coil, same in both ends, same procedure. It'll end up looking like this. Okay. That's all there is to it, gang. You too can make your own spark plug wires at home. Well, that concludes spark plug wire making 101. You can get these fine spark plug wire kits and many more really cool items for your chopper right on over, head on over to lowbrowcustoms.com. If you like this video, click the subscribe button because we're always making cool videos on how to make things for your cool motorcycles. And after you get your new spark plug wires on your bike, you can test them out by going for a ride. Woo! And it's such a nice day out today, I'm gonna go for a ride. Woo!